Local organizations that help the homeless are putting together funding proposals in hopes of getting much more support than in years past. That's after the big announcement last week that the province is tripling its funding for the local DSAB, bringing that support to more than $16.5 million annually. Vasilios Bellos is following this story for us today and joins us live in the studio. Vasilios. Thanks, Ryan. Much of the funding will be going to new supportive housing projects, which the DSAP has identified as one of the most pressing needs. But some of that money is also earmarked for outreach programs. Organizations such as Shelter House and Elevate NWO are now determining the best ways this increased funding can support their ability to support the homeless population. Homeless prevention programs in Thunder Bay got a huge boost last week with the province announcing it'll be tripling annual funding to the District Social Services Board. That brings the yearly support to just over $16.5 million. Local organizations are now putting together proposals for some of the funding, which is mainly targeted at housing. Our housing stock by 250 units, which sounds wonderful, but we know that uh, there's well over 1,000 people sitting on our wait list. Right? Elevate NWO's Holly Govan agrees with the focus on supportive housing, but recognizes the significant amount of work ahead. Govan says she's hoping some of the DSAB funding can improve Elevate's already increasing homeless support efforts. The encampment outreach year long, we were able to do that this year. We've never been able uh, to have the impact that we have had in the last year. We would want to be able to continue our warming centre efforts. Uh, we want to continue people to be able to provide uh, people with opportunities to get to and from medical appointments and social services and running. Govan also says she's hoping Elevate can get a new vehicle for their outreach program, with the group currently forced to use employee cars when providing support. Yeah, yeah. On the south side of town, Shelter House, which stays open 24 hours a day throughout the year, could have those hours in jeopardy. Looking at closing our doors for possibly eight hours a day. Executive Director Cal Rankin says one of the main reasons they could be forced to limit services is a lack of staffing at Shelter House. Rankin says that will be a focus when they discuss funding with the DSAP. Uh, we, we were unable to give our staff a raise at this time, so I'm, I'm hoping that we'll be able to... Uh, divert that issue and keep the staff. Uh, I mean, f funding is imperative to, to keeping the shelter open and the shelter will always, uh, you mean, need to be here because homelessness isn't going away that certain. Local homeless support organizations now have until June to put forward their funding proposals to the DSAB, which will then determine how to allocate the dollars to best support the community. Vicilio Spellos, TVT News.